My goal weight is 170 pounds. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's never gonna happen. This YouTuber failed horribly on her weight loss journey. I just am so upset with myself. <laughs> How did this woman go from an innocent weight loss influencer to a morbidly obese clout chaser? This food gonna make me feel better. Weight loss journeys are a daunting task especially if you're documenting them for everyone to see. But how did Amber Lynn Reed spend nine long years on a weight loss plan only to end up doubling her weight? I'll watch older videos of mine and like especially when I first started YouTube, I was 360 pounds <laughs> and I'm 200 pounds heavier now. From drama to consecutive catastrophes, Audiences got more than a simple weight loss journey. This is the story of how Amberlynn Reed failed horribly on her weight loss journey. And to delve into this confusing plot, we have to go back to where it all started. My name is Amberlynn and I wanted to start a YouTube channel for weight loss. I see a lot of videos of other people doing it and it's so motivating. On the 13th of November 2013, Amberlynn uploaded her first YouTube video of many more to come. In this harmless video, Amberlynn sets herself up on a weight loss journey, starting at around 368 pounds. This video led to an instant boost from a few subscribers and overwhelming support for her determination to lose weight and be brave enough to document it for the whole world. Of course, why wouldn't people celebrate someone taking active steps to make their life better? But Amberlynn probably had no idea that the next nine years would be catastrophic, to say the least, to the point where she'd even be accused of horrible things. But we'll look at that later. What could have possibly happened that made all of this go so horribly wrong? The first signs of trouble popped up in her first few weigh-in videos, where she seemed to make no progress at all. However, Weight loss is a tricky thing, and it's best to cut someone a little slack if they don't make any progress in a week, as long as you know they're putting in the work to achieve their goals. So I did my weigh-in. I was up 2.8. You guys probably are getting frustrated with me, maybe. I don't know, because every time I weigh in, I'm like not losing. You'd reasonably expect Amber Lynn to make some changes to the kind of food she eats, or adopt a new diet to help lower her weight. But that wasn't the case. Her initial uploads were filled with weigh-ins that not only indicated no progress, but pointed toward weight gain. But it is the holidays and there's food around that normally isn't and I am eating it. It's clear to see from her videos that Amberlynn suffers from some sort of eating disorder, which means her progress was never going to be straightforward. And that's what she wanted everyone to believe. It's safe to say that making a 10-minute video explaining why you weren't making any progress at all and backing it up with the fact that you made no changes to your lifestyle is probably not the smartest thing to do and not something you'd be celebrated for. Despite this setback, people were still supportive of her journey and tried to understand that, at the end of the day, she was human and could fall back into old habits just like the rest of us. No harm done, right? Amberlynn's habits surrounding food and her weight loss journey started to look like something she didn't really want to work on, because after several weigh-ins, she continued to gain weight. The fact that she admitted to being indulgent over food didn't help her cause and painted a clear picture. Amberlynn wasn't really determined to work towards her weight loss goals. I was expecting 375. For some reason that number kept popping in my head. But I stepped on the scale and saw 377.0 and my first reaction was, what? That can't be right. That's a flaw. People give you tons of hate on YouTube even if you're doing everything right. So it's no surprise that haters started to show up on Amberlynn's page to make fun of her and comment on her lack of progress when she consistently failed her weighing goals. Naturally, Amberlynn didn't let the comments slide and actually address them, which is something you never do unless you want to dig yourself a deeper hole. Reacting to hate comments is something that became a bit of a routine for Amberlynn over the years, and it most certainly didn't do her any favors as she continued to spiral out of control. Amberlynn seemed to make some progress right around the time her first few haters popped up, which, to be fair to them, is probably what motivated her to get back on track and change the way she treats food. All in all, her weight loss journey in 2018 picked up some pace 
and people were happy with where she was going. So my weigh-in yesterday was 377.0. My weigh-in today was 376.4, so that's down 0.6. It feels really freaking good to be so on track. I'm in the 340s, no more 350s. As the months passed by, however, Amberlynn slipped back into her destructive habits and started 2015 at the same weight as 2014, a disaster that many people predicted. But this would pale in comparison to the catastrophe that would happen just a few months later when Amberlynn's destructive habits went into overdrive because of her relationship with her partner ending. Messy breakups take a toll on people, and if you're Amberlynn Reed, losing a four-year relationship can be a nightmare for your weight loss journey. While many people tend to get motivated to look their best after a breakup, it ended up being the exact opposite for Amberlynn. The fact that the scale wasn't reading me because I reached 420 again or around there, it absolutely hurts. Just two days after the video was uploaded, her scale couldn't even weigh her anymore. At this point, she was around 420 pounds, which was nearly 80 pounds more than what she started off with in her first video. Her new relationship with Destiny helped her pull herself back together, but not for long. Amberlynn had convinced her audience that she wasn't prepared to make any drastic changes concerning her food and exercise routines. And most people lost faith in her attempts to successfully go through with her weight loss journey. Obviously, everyone was proven right when just six months into the relationship, Amberlynn weighed over 455 pounds. It was around this time that things began to take a turn for the worse. Amberlynn Reed was no longer the soft-spoken girl on a journey to better her life by losing weight because she had turned into another clout-hungry YouTuber who refused to take any accountability. We've seen a similar trend with Nico Avocado, the infamous mukbang YouTuber who gained weight to attract more viewers and subscribers to his channel. Amberlynn went down a similar path and fetishized her terrible behavior by putting it on display for the world and growing increasingly unapologetic about her dangerous habits surrounding food and exercise. She continued to upload several mukbang videos and, you guessed it, got an influx of new subscribers. This only incentivized her to eat more food, which ended up increasing her weight to over 450 pounds. Just six months later, disaster struck again for Amberlynn as she went through another breakup and, in typical fashion, it triggered her destructive eating habits putting her close to a whopping 500 pounds in January 2017. January 1st, I weighed 489.2. That is the highest weight I have ever weighed. Absolutely disgusting. 10.8 pounds away from 500 pounds. I can't even like say that out loud. That That is like possible for me to be that big. 500 pounds is a dangerous weight to be at if you expect to live a normal and healthy life. Any reasonable person with that much weight would be determined to take serious steps to make sure they drop the pounds and save themselves. For starters, maybe she'd consider visiting a dietitian and changing her eating habits. Or maybe having healthier food and going to the gym more often. That's what Amberlynn did, right? She made drastic changes to save her body. No, Amberlynn tried to make a change, but in her own unique way, which definitely didn't help her achieve anything in the long run she announced that she was done with her weight loss journey. The silver lining in all of this is how Amberlynn became somewhat of a motivational figure for many people in the weight loss niche. People started treating her as an example of how things can go horribly wrong and why they definitely needed to keep on track with their goals. What Amberlynn did next was a whole new level of stupidity, even by her standards. Amberlynn began to use her terrible eating habits and lifestyle as clickbait for YouTube videos instead of working on herself like she once promised. This was officially when Amberlynn Reed went from being a beloved weight loss YouTuber to a weight gain YouTuber, who served as a warning of what bad habits can lead to by creating videos which documented her chocolate binges, regular McDonald's meals, and other junk food she had no choice but to eventually confront the catastrophic truth that she weighed over 500 pounds. Just keep gaining. I've never weighed this much ever. I don't even want to say it out loud. It's, it's weird. Um, it seems too real when I say it out loud. My weight today was 500.6. This attracted enough attention for some of the biggest fitness channels on YouTube to confront Amberlynn's content and refute her atrocious justifications. Everything you eat, you decided to eat that. 
You, Amberly, you decided to, you chose that. And those of you watching this, whatever you're eating, you're choosing to eat that food. Things took a dark turn when Amberlynn tragically announced that she had cancer, which was made worse by the fact that she weighed close to 600 pounds right around this time. The tragedy forced her to consider something she had always put off, weight loss surgery. I could possibly get weight loss surgery. But to even begin the process of weight loss surgery, she had to lose a lot of weight and debated whether or not she was going to go through with it in the first place. She was going to get the surgery after all, or maybe not. Never mind. This time she was sure this was the right step to take, unless it wasn't. But wait, she'd come around to making this choice. No, not yet. If I do end up doing the surgery, I will be self-pay, so I'm gonna have to be saving money which brings a whole other like stressful situation because it costs around like twenty five thousand dollars amberlynn kept her audience in a tiring cycle concerning her plans for undergoing weight loss surgery but as of late she's saving up for the procedure will she ever go through with it or is she going to continue keeping her audience in a never-ending cycle of indecision about a weight loss surgery chances are you probably dislike amberlynn reed for turning into a clout-hungry YouTuber abusing their body for views. But there are tons of other famous channels that pretty much do the exact same thing. It's tragic to see someone determined to change their lives for the better end up in a significantly worse situation over the course of a few years, probably wondering how this video could get any worse. Surely, there must be some redeeming qualities about Amberlynn, something that makes a person go, hey, she's not all that bad. Unfortunately, that's going to be tough to find especially when Amber Lynn has faced multiple accusations of being abusive towards animals, specifically her pets. If you're a controversial YouTuber surfing the thin line between what's considered ethically acceptable content, it's probably best if you don't shoot yourself in the foot by mistreating animals on camera. There's one unwritten rule for all content creators. Everyone hates people who are mean to animals. And for Amber Lynn, it doesn't help her case if her and her friends are bullying some dogs. All in all, whether or not Amberlynn goes through with her weight loss journey, through a surgery, or gets an epiphany, isn't that difficult to predict. But it's nice to give people the benefit of the doubt. Will she redeem herself and change her life for the better? Or is she going to continue down this dark path and document it for the rest of the world to sit and see? Like, I'll never, ever give up. But it's so weird, it feels like I already did. Because I gained so much weight. Influencers and YouTubers are a strange bunch. And if you're looking for another crazy cloud chaser doing wild things for fame, you're going to want to watch how this TikToker faked Tourette's for clout.